morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. We will start again our lesson for this morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's start with the prayer. I would like to ask Brandon to, to lead the prayer. Everyone, close your eyes and gather your hand and let's pray. Brandon? Okay. Dear just... God, thank you for this wonderful day. We are very grateful for the gift of life, love, and protection. Please guide us as we start our lesson for today. May your Holy Spirit be with us until the end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brandon. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. How about <laughs> I'm you? I'm fine, but thank sleep. you. <laughs> Sleepy. Okay, now you'll get very sleepy now. <laughs> Fine, but sleepy, but teacher. Okay, anyway. You know, the, the secret for that, you need to sit properly. You will not get sleepy if you do that. Sit properly. How about Mary and Driona? Rhinoa? Rhinoa, okay. Hi, Rainoa. Yeah. <laughs> How about to open your camera? Okay. Hello, Rainoa. Good morning. All right. So for today, let's review our virtual class rules. I would like to ask Rainoa. Go, Rainoa. Please read. Find a quiet place, mm -hmm. be ready and be on time. Attendance is always set. Keep your mm -hmm. video on and look at the panel. Pay attention to listen and participate. Oh, Meet yeah. yourself until it is your time to speak. Say no to destruction. All right. Okay. Say no for destruction, everybody. And say no to sleepiness. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Now, yeah, so you, we do have the review of the composite figures. I hope you will not forget this one. And then you also, yeah, who can review, who can say something about this two sets of uh, figures? We have Chanel, we have Brandon, who else? Okay, EXO. Okay. One is two, one is two D, and the other one is three D. Okay, very good. What? Uh, how about Caroline? Tell something more, more about it. Hi, hello, Penguin. That is so cute. Okay, Caroline. Aside from it's a two D, it's the three D. Now let's talk about the dimensions. Uh, yeah, it's dimensions already, but the <laughs> measurements, the character uh, characteristics of the dimensions. Uh, I'll, we have two different units. Yes. How about the two D? Let's start with the two D. Two D has the measurements. Think, think. Square. They square. have. Yes, it's square. That's the unit. But how about the measurement? Carlene, it has this one and this one. What's that? Since it's a plane, uh, everybody I'm talking to is Carlene. Hands down first. Ah, the, the first is letter L, starts with letter L, and starts with letter W. Length and width. Yes, very good. That's for the 2D. How about the 3D? Mm, three things, right? For Thanks the 3D. Oh, but wait. Who said that? Shani, is that you? Elijah. No. Mary. Tell us. For 3D, you have your tink, tink, tink. Shh, 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 
Okay, Randon. <laughs> length, width, and height. Oh. Huh? <laughs> length, width, and the height. So, uh, Carleen shared that for the 2D, you have your squared. For the two, for the three D, you have your. What is it? Yes, Abby. That cubed, cubed, or raised to the power of three. Okay, very good. That's a, a quick review for everyone. Okay. Next, yes. So for today, we will continue to discuss about volume. Yes. So again, do you remember this one? Line for the, the first dimension, number two, that's the 2D length and width. And for the volume, uh, for the third picture, we have your length, width, and height. Okay. So, okay. Before that, everybody, uh, if you happen to review the squares, I mean, the, the area, shapes are measured by squares, right? That's why the, your units are, um, yeah, is squared. Centimeter squared, meter squared, right? Because we can use the squares to measure what's inside the plane shape. Now, how about for the 3D? Hmm. Again, for the 2D, hmm. <laughs> Again, for the 2D, you have your squares. Okay? Squares to measure the shape, what's inside the shape for you to get the area. Shape, I mean the square. Okay, I got it, diba yung unit nyo, centimeter squared. Meaning, uh, for example, you have your 10 centimeters squared. It means that there are 10 squares inside of that shape. Okay? Now, how about for the volume? Everyone, you're not moving. <laughs> you're not moving. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. Ano, question, sir? Na, nag kasi siya. I will <laughs> say it again. <laughs> ano ba tong internet? Ano ba yan? Okay, anyway. Children. Sa area. For example, this is a rectangle, right? Rectangle. So, for example, this one is uh, 4 centimeters. And then we have... 5 centimeters. So, 5 times 4 is... Did I say 4 centimeters here? Or 3? Again, this is, for example, this is 4 centimeters and then this is for the 5 centimeters. What is your area for this one? Three times five is fifteen fifteen centimeter squared. It means that there are fifteen squares here. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Then three lines. One, two, three. There are five. There are three fives. So fifteen squares. Now, how about for the volume? Hmm. This one. This is a cylinder, right? So how do we solve the volume here? If in the area we have squares here, how about for this one? For the volume. Hmm. Yes, Brenda? Cube. Yes. Very good. That's why I told you a while ago for the unit for the volume must have cube or raised to the power of three. Uh, are you familiar with the Rubik's Cube, children? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Oh, what shape Bukana. is that? What 3D is that? Cube. It's a cube. cube. But the Rubik, Rubik's Cube, is that correct? Yes. Composed of many little 
cubes also, right? That's Nine the unit. Yes. One, two, three, three. Three, one, two, three, three by three, right? Cubes. So that's if you, um, you know, ano tawag niyan? Pag masira siya, de ba pag the cube will become a, many little cubes, and then you will count them. For example, for example, you have thirty-five of little cubes. It means that the volume of that Rubik's cube is thirty-five centimeter. For example, centimeter cube. Okay, are you imagining it? Do you play the ano Rubik cubes, Rubik's cube, everybody? Yes, po, teacher, try, try to dismantle. My chair, <laughs> okay. Ko. Okay, maybe I will find that one and then I'll show you something. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. So the first three D we have is sphere. Abby, please read. A sphere. A sphere is a completely round figure. It has no faces, edges, or verticals. Verity says. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Verity says. So, if the 3D is sphere, what's the 2D of this? 2D. Circle. Circle, very good. So, plain to circle, but if it's have the volume already it is sphere so how do we get how do we get the volume so you have your v is equal to four over three or four third multiplied by the pi you know the value of pi everyone you know the value what's the value 1.1416. Uh, let's have two decimals only. So we have 3.14. Okay, very good. And then what's the R reference to? R is the radius. Who knows about that? Hmm. What's the radius? Gian, yes, you're. Are you saying something? What's radius, Regian? Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Brandon, you have the idea. What's the radius? Also, I need the question again, teacher. Radius. This one. This is the radius, by oh, the way. The this one. This one. From the center of the sphere to the point here. Hello, Jervian. 4%? 4, percent, four mm -hmm. centimeters? No, no, no. I'm not asking about the measurement. Tell me what is radius. Okay. Okay, again. In a circle, yeah, everyone... Part of diameter? Uh-uh. Ano daw? Ano yun? Part of the diameter. Part of the from. diameter, yes. Part of the diameter. Then what kind of part? Look, look at the figure, everyone. You can see, you can know what is radius. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, everyone, uh, even though I'm not really good at drawing, look at my circle here. Though it's not a circle at all. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our 2D. In the 2D, everyone, you have your center, right? That's the center, yung nasa gitna. Ha, that's how we read it, the center of the circle. No, the, from the center to the other point. Points could be anywhere here. Okay, anywhere here. Oh my God, nasira na yung ano ko. Basta circle yan siya. Any part of the circle that's the point so from center to the point for example this one center to the point Shiging that one that is your radius okay radius now how about the letter d here what's d huh 
Diameter. Diameter. Oh, what's diameter? Diameter is? Hmm. Um, circle sa tunga. Circle sa tunga? <laughs> Again, the center, this point here at the center is the center. Radius from center to the other point. Now, the diameter, guys, is actually your two radius connected Ayun, to each other. Yes, po. Yes, that one. Okay, two radius that connected to each other, that's your diameter. So, kalahati. Okay, the half of your, um, of your circle. See to it, that, la that line connects or, you know, ano tawag yan? I forget the geom geometrical term. Basta matouch niya yung center. Okay, this one. So, that's your diameter. So, radius is the half. Okay? The half of your diameter. Again, what's the radius? The half of your... <laughs> I'm doing like this. The <laughs> half of your <laughs> diameter. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Again, this is your yes. formula for you to have your volume three over three, uh, four over three or four thirds times the pi three point four and uh radius raised to the power of three. Okay. Let's try. And you booked. Four thirds pi teacher. Ano ano na? Bakit merong ganito? Ano, ano four thirds of pi? Yes, true. Four you thirds of pi. That's a given. Okay? Later, we will have an example. Kung saan yung excited? Okay, let's try. Okay, what's our formula again, Abby? Oh, no. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Abby, what's the formula? V is equal to 4 over 3 times pi. Yes, pi r. Not squared, it's cubed. Okay. It's fine, don't worry. <laughs> okay. So you copy 4 over 3. What's your pi again? You can use this one. Tra pi is... Oh, no, 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 no. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Pi is what? Pi. 3.14. Your pi is 3.14. And then, close, open. What's your radius? 4. 4 what? Inches. This one, look. Look at the figure. This is your radius. I did it. Four. Um, two inches. Huh? Um, Bakit two inches? <laughs> Given na nga. <laughs> four inches. Yes, four inches. And then, cube raised to the power of three. What does it mean again about the cube? What will happen to four? Times four times four times four. Four times four times four. Okay, very good. So let's start with the exponent. What is four inches raised to the power of three? May I ask Ivan? Reach Ivan? Four inches raised to the power of three is equal to what? Sixty four. Hmm. Sixty four. Raised to the power of three. Uh, yes. 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 Ivan. Your answer is sixty four. 
64? You said four, 64? He is solved. Ivan is so great kasi nag siya by his mind. Mm. Razor. Sige, 4 times 4 is what? 16. Oh. 16 I, times yes, 4 64. Very good. Your unit is inches what? Inches what? Squared or cube? Your inches is cube. Okay. Okay, Rish Ivan. Okay, very good. Now we're good with our exponent. Now we solve this one here. 64 times 3.14. You solve. Three point fourteen. Okay, Brandon, what's your answer? With two decimal point, okay? Ang answer ko, teacher, kay 200.96. Okay. 200. Very good. 296. Your unit is? Inches squared. Yes, uh, very good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, how do we multiply this whole number to a fraction? That's very easy. Kasi a whole number, meron talaga yung over 1. Okay, so when we multiply fractions, by the way, numerator to new numerator and denominator to denominator. Okay, okay, so uh, we have 4 times 200.96. Okay, let me move it this one. Turn ko dito ha. Makita pa ba yung mga yung annotation ko? Sure, yeah, malibok lang ko sure. Pangit ka, ayaw mo. Ako lag kay Kutcher. Kay mo. Sa Kutcher, malibot, Kutcher. Ah, sige lang. <laughs> no, this is a disadvantage when we have the virtual, but we need to do this so that your education will not stop. <laughs> okay. Now, 200. Again, we are in fraction, right? Numerator. Your numerator is 4. Multiply by 296. So, your answer is... That's so big na, oh. Your answer is what? Come on. 803 and 84. Very good. Don't forget Wait, your answer, sure. sa. Wait, sir. Sure. Kasi <laughs> some of, you know, my students. Sa pag-solve, sir. Ganito, oh. Beyond. Multiply. Here, oh, look. Fourth. Multiply mo si 4 times 200.96 and then you multiply also here. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. No. Kaya? San dyan? Hindi na. 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 Oh no. Sure. Balik kayo, balik kayo sa, sa ano ba anong, anong grade level yung ano decimals? Hmm. Three? Mang four? 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 Ngayon mm. pag soldier. Look, look. Okay, ha? Tingnan nyo, ha? 9. 296. Multiply by 4. So, first, multiply, multiply 4 times 6. How many? 6, 12, 18, 24. 24. Very good. Carry 2. 24. And then, 9 times 4 is? 36. Plus 2? 38. 
Copy the A, trace to the power. Hindi pala raise. Carry, 3. Now, 4 times 0 is... Yeah. Huh? 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 times... Zero uh, times zero. Very, uh, zero yeah. this one Three. and then eight. And then saan? Yung decimal eight. point. Look at here. Eight. Follow the decim the number of decimal points. One and two. So, yun, from it's... here, one, two. Oh, nandito na siya. Chanel. Yes, true. Karina? Yes, true. Kaya, Kaya nag, kailangan ba yan ako i-YouTube share kung sa pagsoka na? Thanks to YouTube. <laughs> okay, raise ko na ha. Continue na tayo. <sighs> okay, let's do the division. Oh my God. Oh, oh. How about this one? Don't tell me. You forgot how to divide. Oh, ano ko kabalo, Anna, chair? Oh my God. Ano ko kabalo, Anna? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Kumi. Sige, 803.34 divided by 3. 8 divided by 3 is? Teacher, mag-solve ako lang sa akin. Ng oh, sige, please. Do the solving there kasi my power is so Ay, limited. Divided by 8, 2. Ah, oh, sige go. Give me your answer everyone. Sa oh, totoong i-add mo, sir. You divide 800 and 3, ah, 803 and 84 divided by 3. To get your answer for the volume of your sphere. Oh my god, sphere pa lang tayo. Sir, nag-calculate ako, sir. Sir, kahit <laughs> 2,600, ah, wait, 26,794. But kayo, what is 1,000? It's not 1,000, only hundreds and many decimal points. But I want you sure, to get anong it. Pag mag, anong culture divide, kay, kayo, anong mag, anong culture divide, kayo, anong mag, anong mag, anong mag, anong mag, anong mag, No, it's not. It's a division. You don't need to make it a, a mixed fraction. You just need to simplify. So you need to divide it. 803 divided by... 84. Uh, I don't know. 803.84 divided by 3. Sige, I'll, I'll show sure, you. Sure, no, calculator. Ko, sure, tapos ako ni Gawas. Sure, kay 2679466666666666666667. Okay, I actually, I solved already before the hour time. I'll give you the answer. Okay, please practice. The answer is 267 and 94. 94. But this one... Sir, tama na ang tao. Ang maraming six. I don't yes, want sir. The hug six, sir. Only tama. when we I'm solve... Answer, okay, I get this one. This one. So we have only two decimal points, okay? I don't want you to get three, four, five, and six, only the two decimal points, okay? Okay, sure. And then you copy your, copy your unit. Oh my gosh, this is, so, is it so hard? Yes, sure. <laughs> oh, maybe I will really have a extra mile for you, everyone. Um, if I have the time later at the evening, I will, I will solve something with my, by my hands and then I will took a picture on it and then I will send it in our group chat so that you will know how's the process it's for you to have your review and your division, dividing, oh God, yeah. dim, dividing decimal points and multiplying decimal points. Oh my God. Okay. Pero ang pag-answer, good sure kayo na yung remainder to teacher. Yes, uh, ganun talaga pag may ganyan. But I only wanted you to have the two decimal points like this. Okay? So yung ano lang, sure, ang pag-so. Oo. Uh -uh. Yung nasa ka, yan, ganyan po. Kasi 
yung si two remainder mo kung mag lagay di ba usually when we solve division with decimal points we put zero and zero all over again until you have your whole number answer but but that is not you cannot get get a whole number of that okay you will have an infinite two a six in your answer okay anyway ignore na lang yun teacher ah ah okay If you try mm, to again, mm, to again yung remainder, to again, yun na yun siya. Again and again. Okay? Oh my gosh. You know, 40 minutes is so short for this lesson. <laughs> okay, let's have, at least we, we have two 3D shapes for this. Okay? Let's have cylinder or cylinder. How do you read that? Third lagi teacher, hindi lagi cube. Yung... Hmm? Yung, yung ano ko. Yes, I'm sorry. That's that's cube. <laughs> sorry, guys. Hindi yan, scratcher. Hindi, it's a cube. Sige. Okay. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Cylinder. What's cylinder? Reach, Ivan. Please read. Cylinder? Ay, Cylinder. Rich Ivan. Rich Ivan, please. Ako na lang basa. Oops. Na-mute na ko akong kwan. Yes. Yes, Ivan. A cylinder has two circular faces but has no edge or vertices. Edges. edges. Or edges. vertices. Yes. Okay. Because the two sides here are circles. So there's no side. Okay? And then here, this is round. That's why walang side. Okay? There's no edges. In no sa Google, sure, infinite size. The oh, yeah. All right. So any... Okay. So let's solve for that. Since you know how to get a hot, what wears... The, the radius, this one. So I'll, I'll introduce you what is the height. The height is this one from top to bottom. Okay, so let's try. Just substitute. That's it. Just memorize your what? Your formula. Yeah. I know, children. Wait, my formula is correct. By the way, my formula is correct. Why? And squared then should squared lang talaga si si radius. Ah, dalawa yes. lang ang kuan. Dalawa yung radius natin from the first radius here at the top and at the bottom, and then you will have your cube in your unit because your height have a uh, measurements too. So when you multiply them, you have your cube. Okay, this is correct. Okay, let's let's try. Let's try. Let's try this one. Let's answer. Height is equal to nine inches. Um, and then uh, here, this one. That, uh, and then formula your, your formula is this one. V is equal to pi r squared times height. Pi r squared times height. Okay? Your height is 9 inches. Then your radius is 9 inches. Okay, let's try. Go. Teacher Dessa, nag-off po ako ng cam kasi nakalagay ka not start video po sa akin. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Pi r squared times height. Point fourteen. Your your radius is four inches squared, and then your height is nine inches.
Okay, who's that, Brandon? Okay, wait lang man doon. Your answer is 452. Okay. Pas-pasan niya, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you multiply this one first before the pi. Okay, 4 times 9. 4 times 9 is? 36 inches cube na. And then you multiply it by your oh, pi. 3.15. So, 36, uh, th 3.14 times 36. What's your answer? 314 times 36 is? 314. Your answer 